So this is like one of my favorite Bible scriptures. And I've had this sign for years. And recently when we moved, it broke. You can see the crack in it. So I wanted to kind of redo a new one, but I wanted to do it my way. So I'm going to show you guys what I did to get this same quote on a really dope poster board. So I'm making a project this morning, <laughs> my arts and craft. So I started with a 22 by 28 um, poster board frame. And these are loose leaf glitter paper. You guys can see it's really shiny and pretty. And I'm going to put some words on here that bring me comfort. So this is my project. So the key to getting this is that you want to make sure it's perfectly aligned. You want to try and match the lines together. So that way it's really smooth and the naked eye is not going to notice it from far away. Like when you step back, you can barely see that these are different, you know, sheets of paper. The top is not aligned yet. I'm just working on the bottom before I glue it down. And then I have like my little <laughs> glue kit here. So... You just want to go around it real thinly and press it down so that way you have your backdrop for um, whatever you want to lay behind it. So right now I'm using this glue pen and I'm going to, I like this because it's really thin so you can get right to the edges. I have to record this myself because I'm the only one here. So you want to just make sure you get to the edges and you're able to spread it really, really well. So I'm going to do that all the way around. So that way the paper does not happen to lift at all. And it's a pretty big poster board, so it's going to take a while. But yeah, I usually work on the edges first. And then I'll add glue and stuff to the middle. So as you see, the edge really goes up here. So you want to make sure you get all of that. And you want to make it thin. It's going to hold. It's a super clear glue. So you don't want it, you know, too thick. You don't want the paper to bulk up and things like that. So I'm going to go all the way up here while smoothing it out, making sure it gets all the way to the edge. Okay, so I've got the whole line, as you guys can see, going all the way down to the bottom. So now I'm going to go ahead and start sticking the paper all the way to the edge. Hopefully I can film this with one hand. <laughs> you guys see that? I just want to lay it down perfectly. You don't want to see any of that brown. You want to make sure it's really, really smooth when you lay it down. And I apologize. This is like my morning project. I do projects I don't know, I try and do stuff once a month. Keep my brain agile, I guess. So I'm gonna put the second sheet on here. Okay, you want it to just cover and lay the bottom. So, and you just wanna add your finger, you know, just feel, make sure it's not hanging out. Make sure it's not hanging over. If you need to push it over a bit, you still have time before it dries completely. And then I'll go back in where this pocket is and add glue. So that's what you want to do to lay it down. Start with the edges, and then you're going to add more glue in the middle to hold down the paper. But as you see, it's very seamless. You can't even tell, you know, from looking at it from way back here that it's two sheets of paper. You know, so it's very, very seamless. This is where the paper ends, but you really can't tell. Mm-hmm, yep, slick. <laughs> okay, so it's done. Everything is glued and it's drying right now. You can see some of the lines right here, but for the most part, like I said, the further back, it's hard to tell. Um, so I'm gonna place the words on here strategically. Okay, this is one of my favorite Bible scriptures um, from Corinthians, and so, I'm going to transfer this onto the paper. It took a while to like peel it off. <laughs> so here's the paper where I put it off. You can see some of the lettering still on there, like the commas and stuff. But yeah, so I got the first half off of there. So now I'm going to start transferring it on. So it's gonna take a while. I wanna go slow, but I want it to come out really, really beautiful. Okay, so I'm trying to peel it. It's not transferring as easy as they claimed it would. So I have my trusty tools here. <laughs> so 
stuff that I use for my lashes. So I'm gonna use my tweezers and stuff like that to kind of go over it even harder and to go over it even harder in certain spots. And then whatever doesn't come, I'll just go in and simply pull it off. So I'm gonna do that. This is gonna take a while. <laughs> okay, so I'm having a lot better luck. So the key is to just really, really scrape down on it individually, especially them little, little parts, really, really scrape down on it. That is the key. Cause look at that, look at that, look So pull it back. So you see the P came out. <laughs> we got the first, well, not the first word, the last word, cause we're working backwards. We got proud. So I'm gonna go and just keep on going and just really scrape down that is the key. Really, really scrape down on the lettering so that way it fully transfers over. So I'm gonna go ahead and even rub it down if you need to. So I'll try it again. Oh, there it is, it's starting to. So then when it gets like that, I just go in with the tweezers and slightly pull. You wanna be really careful because you don't wanna rip the lettering. That shit was not cheap, so. Let me go on with my trusty tweezers and pull that T. Okay, so I wanted to make sure everything fits on here properly before going through and, you know, peeling off all the letters. So what I did, I just took the second half and I put it underneath so that way you can see the letters are not on top of each other. There's still enough play, uh, space here to show Corinthians. 1348, honey, my favorite. It, it means a lot to me. So... I'm gonna finish this up. Hopefully it turns out really pretty. That's, that's my goal. This is what I envisioned in my head for my project this morning, but we shall see. But so far, so good. So okay, far, so good. it's starting to come together really nice. And I just been like really, really scraping down on this and using the tweezers as needed. And for the most part, um, it's peeling off nicely. So I'm gonna have to use a tweezer right there so that doesn't rip. So again, with this, patience is definitely, definitely the key. It's a lot, but it's looking really good so far. I'm excited. Okay, so it took a while to pull them off. I had to pull them more off with the tweezers than I expected to, but it turned out really beautiful. Um, I've seen these in the store. I even have an old one that's kind of cracked, but I've never seen them blinged out really pretty. So I wanted to do something different. I wanted more glam. So that's why I did it this way. So I'm going to get ready to hang it up. All right. So it's officially done. This turned out even more beautiful than I even expected. So I'm going to go ahead and put it in my bedroom. I just, I love it. It's glam. It's godly. It's spiritual. It's beautiful. And most important, it's love. All right, so I am officially done. This is half of my bedroom here. I'm in the corner so y'all can see everything. There goes my little glam fan. Y'all know I love my glam, honey. I love anything shiny and blingy boo. So I had to do this. I think it turned out beautiful. Like I'm really happy. Everything feels so serene. I got my candles lit and everything. But yes, this turned out so pretty. And you can see the shimmer in... um in the picture and everything when you come in close. Uh, the video doesn't do it justice. You have to physically, you know what I'm saying, be here. But I love it. It turned out perfect. That is one of my favorite scriptures and I'm glad I was able to just recreate it myself and match more of my bedroom decor and more of my personality than the old one that I had that ended up breaking. Like I was really sad when it broke. So I'm glad I was able to kind of recreate it in my own way. Yeah.